Bulldogs, today is Friday, October 27th. Please stand for the pledge. allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks guys. Oh, I really hope it's not raining cats and bulldogs out today. Well, let's ask Sophia. Here at the train derailment site, it's starting to warm up. Low at 59, high at 73. Thanks Sophia. Now it's time for EPSS. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to EPSN. Fall sports have come to an end. I can feel a breeze of winter sports right around the corner. Well, juniors may have beat the seniors in He-Man in four sets. But seniors beat the juniors in Powder Puff 27 to seven. Go seniors. Sports in East Palestine, it's a fundamental part of their DNA here. When you come to EP, you're gonna see, you know, the pride, the, the brown street signs. You're gonna see the bulldog on the glass in town. You're gonna see our cheerleaders, our football players, our cross country, you know. The amount of support that we have here from this community, from our local businesses is, is unbelievable. It's fantastic. It's part of the charm and what I have always felt make this town so great. I see my coaches everywhere, all my friends who play football everywhere, you know, people from school. You know everybody here. Everybody knows each other. You know all of your neighbors. It's very homey. You feel safe. Because it's East Palestine. Nothing happens in East Palestine. I actually thought a bomb had went off downtown. Ripples through, like shakes my house, makes me shake, like I feel it in my chest. The sky lit up in pinkish orange. A Norfolk Southern train traveling eastbound with over a mile of cars had over 28 cars derailed with hazardous materials on it. It caught fire. We had to evacuate half of the town. They couldn't extinguish the fire, but you have to let it burn in that situation. And we had to uh, make the decision to blow five of those cars up. Subject matter experts said that was the safest way to do it without anybody getting injured. It was hard for everybody in that room to make the decision to do that. But we felt that was what was best for our community. We were supposed to host a postseason girls tournament game. I got a phone call that said we were not going to host the game. We had to cancel our first track meet. They were deep cleaning our track to help other people feel comfortable coming to East Palestine because they had their concerns. We became Toxic Town USA. No wonder schools don't want to come here. Because teams were unwilling to come, it did create about a 40 to 45% decrease in our budget, which works out to be upwards of $70,000. There were sports that we had to really examine if it was going to be financially feasible if we can't start to make up some of these shortfalls, something's gonna have to be done. If you would take away youth sports and high school sports in this town, it would be a ghost town within a matter of months. My players really showed a lot of resilience. They weren't gonna let this thing that happened in town ruin their life or their happiness. It's hard to fully describe it, but like I need football. I need to play volleyball right now. I need to provide my community with entertainment. Well, I could not imagine not playing sports in high school. I don't know what I would do. Coming back on that Monday, you know, I got a phone call from one of my rock star teachers that said, hey, Chris, the kids want to talk to you. And the teacher said, Chris, if you just turn around and take a look at the board, just full of ideas. These kids wanted to take this and make it theirs. I couldn't be any more proud of, of our staff and our students. Imagine being a senior tennis player, thinking, hey, you know, because of this train derailment, I may not be able to play my senior season. So we needed to go out and look for partners, people from a corporate standpoint, people that could help us. Do 
Deer is housing high school. At the Dix Foundation, we believe sports has the power to change lives. We are honored to award you a $75,000 Sports Matter grant. Go Bulldogs! We're Bulldogs strong. We are not victims of this accident. We've come out the other side, and we're ready to go. We're ready to be who we were before. We're ready to be better. students of the month for this month. Uh, congratulations, by the way. So we're going to ask each one of you a question. Jasper, how do you feel about getting student of the month? Great. Okay. Morgan, what do you feel like you do that displays Bulldog Pride? Um, I do a lot of stuff. I go to sporting events. Okay. 
Brady. What extracurriculars are you in? I'm in soccer, band, track, cross country, tennis, academic challenge, Rotary Interact, English Festival, Science Club, and I think that's it. It is a very long list, I must I wonder what's for lunch today. Barbecue, pork, sandwich. That was a lot happening within these walls. Lainey, where are you going? Out and about. What's M? Trick or treating. Same. We'll see you next week. And, and as always, go Bulldogs.